is Matilda the Mantis. Hello, Matilda. Hello, James. Matilda, I'd like to look at you under the microscope, if that's all right. Would that be all right? Hmm. Okay. Pick me up. Give me your finger to climb onto. Okay, I will. Now, this is the same thing that Steph was looking at earlier, the saw-backed flower mantid. And what I wanted to do... Matilda's been very patient, I must just tell you. She's been waiting here very patiently for some time. And now I'm going to try and show you her quite astounding head. There we are. Is that not beautiful? That's what she looks like. And you can see everything is very delicate. I don't know if you were watching yesterday, but we had a, well, we had a kill with the mantis. It wasn't a sawback flower mantid. It was a kind of flower mantid. But it caught a fly, and those very delicate mouth parts were astounding the way they tore it limb from limb. It bit off the legs, then it, well, it actually sucked out the eyes first, then bit off the legs, then discarded the wings, and then went for the, what was ever in the abdomen. Oh, look, it's cleaning itself. Isn't this wonderful? That is brilliant. Kirsten says it's moving around a bit much. It's move it's not my hand moving. The mantis is moving, Kirsten. She's so hypercritical. Then you can see the spikes, the defensive spikes there. Seeing a lot of cleaning. I think this is just wonderful. Anyway, this astounding mantis will take it back out once it's finished doing its cleaning here. Matilda the mantis. I wonder if we shouldn't strap her. Can you strap Matilda? I think she's going to be a very fine TV subject. While we're doing that, I must just tell you that the tree that Steph was talking about is one of the trees that I've learned since I've been here at Juma. And I've had to say its Latin name many, many times in order to remember it. Here we go. There's Matilda's strap.